Hey guys, if you want to generate images like these directly inside ChatGPT, today I'm sharing 10 example prompts that give you professional quality results. And the best part? No Photoshop, Midjourney, or any paid tools are required. We'll cover everything from logos and designs, to book covers, coloring pages, and even game art. And you can copy every prompt directly from the video, which you can find in the description. Let's jump into the first one, and I'll show you exactly how to get results like this. For this one, I asked ChatGPT to generate a cinematic image of a medieval knight standing in front of a burning village, with golden hour lighting and a dramatic tone. The vibe is straight out of a game like Age of Empires, and it only took one sentence. If you want to customize it, you can tweak the prompt to change the armor to Viking style, add glowing red eyes, or drop in some smoke effects. It listens surprisingly well. Now, prompts work way better if you're specific. Here's what I usually include in my prompt. The style, like pixel art, vector, and so on. The details, colors, mood, specific elements, and the format. Just think of it like giving instructions to a human artist. The clearer your vision, the better the image you'll get. Number two, realistic lion portrait. This one could seriously hang in a museum. I asked for a close-up painting of a lion in an oil painting style with dramatic lighting, and the shadows and brush textures are just perfect. If you want to tweak the colors or make it more abstract, just ask. Three, design a vector logo from scratch. I didn't upload anything, I, I just typed the concept. I wanted a modern tech logo in black and purple, flat vector style and white background. And boom, it actually gave me a usable logo. Bonus tip, you can take the generated image into Canva or Figma and use the remove background tool if needed. Then refine the lines if you want it cleaner. Number four, business card design. After I had the logo, I went one step further. I asked ChatGPT to generate a minimalist business card layout using that style. It came out super clean, just the kind of design you'd see on a startup founder's desk. Want to edit it? Just ask to change the font or add a QR code to the design. Coloring page for kids and adults. This is one of my favorite use cases. I told ChatGPT to generate a black and white coloring page of a magical garden. No shading, just clean vector lines. And it nailed it. You can literally turn this into a printable PDF and sell it on Etsy or Gumroad. Want to make a full book? Just keep feeding similar prompts. Change the themes. Forests, castles, underwater worlds. Whatever. Retro gamers, you'll love this. I asked for a pixel art loading screen showing a robot at a neon lit diner with now loading in 8-bit text. The vibe is pure 90s nostalgia. Grand Theft Auto style. If you like gritty urban game assets, this one's wild. I asked for a first-person street view from Grand Theft Auto 3, Liberty City, cars, streetlights, graffiti walls, and urban textures. You can even edit it by saying, add a police car or make it nighttime, and the generator adjusts accordingly. This one's for my RPG fans. I asked for a parchment-style fantasy world map and it gave me labeled regions, mountains, forests, and even castle icons. Looks like it came from a game like Dragon Age or Skyrim. Want to make it interactive? Import it into Canva or Figma and overlay clickable regions. If you're building a product, this is gold. I asked for a dark mode landing page for an AI writing app called NeuroIP. And the layout it gave me? Legit good. You could easily recreate it in Webflow or Framer. Just use the image as a wireframe. And finally, content creators, this one's for you. I asked for a square quote post with the phrase, consistency beats talent over a moody gym background. And here it is. If you want to make this your style, just keep using the same format and colors and you'll have a whole series. All right, before we wrap up, let me show you how to write better prompts yourself. Here's the simple formula I use. Some examples can be a pixel art cat sleeping under a neon sign at night, 8-bit style, square format, or a flat vector logo of a robot holding a pencil, minimalist style, blue and white palette. Don't overthink it. Just imagine what you want to see and describe it clearly. The more specific you are, the more control you have. 
And if the first version isn't perfect, tweak it. You can say things like, make it brighter, change the style to painting, add fog in the background, and ChatGPT will redo the image for you. And that's it. 10 prompts that actually work and look amazing. Try them out for yourself, and if you get something cool, drop it in the comments. I'd love to see what you come up with. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.